Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to find out if graphite can be used with watercolor. We are going to use graphite side by side with watercolor and we are going to mix graphite with watercolor and we are going to take a look at the results to see how they look. So let me show you the graphite that I'm going to use today. We have this art graph graphite which is actually powdered graphite in this pen form and we have this Derwent Graphitone which is in this pencil form this is a whole stick of graphite and we have watercolor I have also some water for washing my brushes so let's start by painting some swatches with graphite and also with watercolor since graphite is grey we are going to mix a grey tone using watercolor and for that I'm going to use French Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna French, Ultramar French Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna they work very well together to create a grey tone the nice thing about watercolor washes is you can add colors to affect the wash so now I have mostly Ultramarine if I add more Burnt Sienna I can use it to change the color so we have this nice blend of colors or you can mix completely on the palette or you can let it mix on the paper so this is what we can get with French Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna the paper that I'm using is the Daler Rowney Aquafine series of watercolor paper this is cellulose paper it has no cotton content so it's not that durable when it comes to uh, having several layers or doing glazing but I like it because the paper is very white and it shows off colors very well so let's move on to testing um, swatching out the graphite the art graph graphite I'm using the pan of the tin to create my wash I want to uh, make sure that I have a concentrated wash of graphite so that I can apply on the paper and get a rather uh, flat and even tone so this is graphite from the art graph tin the graphite particles they are very dense and they like to group together so we have this very textural look so this is art graph graphite and now I'm going to use the one graphite tone I'm going to scrape off some of the graphite into a mixing well and then mix the graphite into a wash so that I can paint here I find it much easier to use a water brush to scrape off the graphite to dissolve the graphite so this is a bit more tedious compared to using the art graph graphite tin now one advantage that the graphite tone has is you are able to create a very flat and even wash not the patchy wash that you just saw but it takes more work all right I have mixed a good amount of this graphite so let's paint a swatch can you see the difference between this graphite and this graphite this behaves very much like watercolor you can get a really flat and even wash with the usual watercolor techniques you know what since I have some space here I'm going to mix three primary colors into a gray tone mixing three primary colors together to create a gray tone a neutral gray tone is actually very difficult you need to get the precise uh, mixture right it's not like 33% yellow 33% red and also 33% um, blue usually yellow has a smaller mixture red and blue they have a bigger mixture let's take a look at the gray tones that we have at first glance well this mixture and this mixture they are not really gray you can still see some colors in them and that is actually what I like about the gray tones that are painted with watercolors you can still see the individual colors in them when you look at graphite it's quite dead the color is quite dead compared to watercolor 
when you use it on its own it's fine but when you use it side by side with watercolor you can definitely see um, how lifeless it is with ultramarine and burnt sienna you can still see shades of individual colors but with graphite you only see graphite this is art graph and this is graphitone graphitone is less patchy compared to art graph and this is the gray tone mixed with three primary colors you can still see the individual colors in the mixture i guess if you really want to replicate the same graphite color with three primary colors you can do so but it's going to take a lot of time and trial and error painting color swatches do not tell the whole story so now i'm going to use graphite and watercolor to color this sketch for the left side i'm going to use watercolor for the center area here i'm going to use graphite and for the right side here i'm going to mix graphite with watercolor so let's start with the ultramarine and burnt sienna mixture again on the left And now I'm going to switch over to using Art Graph Graphite. And now I'm going to use watercolor mixed with graphite. I'm going to start by using permanent rose this is from the brand mission gold so i'm going to use a lot of water here and then i'm going to try and blend the graphite into this wash the graphite that i'm using is from the derwent um, graphitone because it, it is less patchy compared to the art graph so once i add the graphitone in you can see how the color changes If you are thinking of adding graphite to a color to create the shadows, I wouldn't recommend that because it's going to make the shadows look a bit dead. This is what we have. When graphite is put side by side with watercolor, it definitely looks less lively just because watercolor is so much livelier. See here? The watercolor mixture it's so much more interesting compared to the graphite wash which only has one color here we have two colors working together and it's um, quite exciting to look at compared to this if you want to use graphite on its own for example if we take a look at this area here where we only have graphite it works well on its own but when you use it with watercolor somehow it just doesn't work at least for me so what do you think does this graphite hair color go well together with this skin tone that is painted with watercolor or does this hair color that's painted with watercolor go well together with this skin tone that's also painted with watercolor and lastly we have watercolor mixed with graphite so here we can see how vibrant the watercolor is but once you start to add graphite it sort of kills the color this is very different from adding a complementary color to this um, color i think this sort of sucks the life out of um, the vibrancy so if you want to paint shadows it's better to add complementary colors rather than graphite let me show you the texture of graphite and some um, areas where the graphite looks like it's almost cracking so this dense area of graphite it looks like there are some cracks here and you can see a lot of granulation and this granulation is very different from watercolor granulation So 
So this is how graphite looks when it's used side by side with watercolor and also when it's mixed with watercolor. When I first started learning watercolors, I actually used graphite side by side and I have always wondered why my watercolor sketches they look so dead and that's because of the graphite. Do you use watercolor with graphite? If you do, share with me your experience. I would love to hear your thoughts. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you want to check out the high resolution scan of this sketch, I will put the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.